Okay, in this video, we're going to take some close up views of artifacts and a couple of my reproductions. Uh, now, there's a lot of uh, reproductions on the market, it's, you know, because the the market for artifacts has very uh, has increased quite a bit in the past several, past few years. Uh, this is not going to be a video about how to recognize the difference, but I just wanted to show you some characteristics um, of artifacts and modern reproductions. Uh, I want to show you the artifacts because I want you to see the skill level and the uh, the type of flaking and the type of uh, edges on on the artifacts. Uh, so when you are trying to reproduce one, you'll you'll know what uh, what to do. I divided these up. Uh, this was my very first artifact that my mother actually bought me. My very first one that she got at a yard sale. Um, it looks like the top part of a knife. It's been snapped off. It's got some patina and some. Uh, mineral deposits on it but it took me forever it seems to be able to duplicate this type of uh, edge and you see this kind of edge on many artifacts as you'll see now these I know for sure positively that these are real because I found them myself and they were all from the same site I found them on, on the side of a dirt road. Um, the first piece I found, I, I I lost it, but it caught my eye because it was shiny, and I went back, turned around, and started looking, and I found this within 20 minutes on the side of that dirt road. I guess the rain had washed away a lot of the uh, the uh, dirt, and this was the point was sticking out. I noticed a point and I dug out the rest of it. My daughter was with me when I found this. And um, it looks like there's some damage on this edge, but originally it was extremely sharp. And on this other edge, you can see there's some retouch, some very fine retouch. So it was probably used for cutting something harder than this side. Uh, the damage on it looks like it's probably from farm machinery or a plow or something. It's missing one of the uh, barbs in the tip. But this is this was very exciting for me to find this, and I know positively that this is a real artifact because I found it myself. These are also real artifacts. It's hard to tell what they are because most of the uh, point is missing. But after seeing real ones and getting used to what they look like it's not very difficult to uh, spot modern ones and I'll show you that in a minute but these definitely are real these are two uh, two points uh, at lateral probably at lateral points this one could be an at lateral point or a knife I believe this is called a bell point this one here is a true arrow point. It seems extremely small for an arrow, so it may have been for decoration or for for a good luck charm or something. I think it's a Perdice point. Uh, the, the base is snapped off and the barbs are snapped off. The tip is snapped off. But these were found on the same road. Uh, this one further down, maybe about. Uh, At least, at least a football field away. But they're very different in time period. This one here, I think, is a scraper or a preform for a knife or a, a point. I think I haven't had a chance to wash these up, but it has some characteristics that look like a scraper. Okay, and I these other artifacts that I have here. Uh, I've purchased these. Um, after looking at them carefully I decided that I should go ahead and purchase these because they looked real. 
and I'm, I'm satisfied with these. The characteristics are in line with what I've seen on real artifacts, the ones that the real ones that I've found. Is uh, on some of these, there's a lot of mineral deposits and patina that you don't see on modern pieces. And also the quality of the work. Um, and sometimes they look a bit odd. This one was made on a flake. They didn't seem to care too much about aesthetics as far as the uh, curvature. As long as it would cut, it looks like a knife. And uh, it doesn't have to be straight to be sharp. Interesting piece of rock there. These are all from Texas. And um, you can see the edges here are all very similar. You don't see very much abrading or platform preparation. Very thin cross section. Sometimes it's actually concave in the middle portion where they uh, were driving flakes into the middle and it just took a little bit too much off. Some of these look like they're broken in manufacture. Some of these have impact fractures. This looks like an impact fracture here. You see the ripples down the blade. I'm not sure what type of point this is, but just to give you an idea of what the edges looked like, and uh, surprisingly enough, steps are quite common on a lot of these real points. So they weren't too much concerned about making them pretty as long as they were functional. There's also certain characteristics on the uh, sharpening of the blade. You can see that uh, this part right here is concave and this part up here is concave so it's alternately sharpened. Sharpened by driving flakes with pressure down this way, flip it over sharpening it down that way too. And uh, some of these have kind of a twisted looking blade just because of the way they were being sharpened. The base is straight but when you get up to the blade you can see it's starting to propeller. Now I'm not sure if it started out that way and just got more pronounced as they sharpened it, or they started out flat and then started to develop this propeller shape as it was being resharpened. I don't know. But some of them are very interesting. Um, this looks like it broke during manufacture, but this, some of the chipping is very odd, and uh, the edge is very thin. You hardly ever see any platform preparation on these. This edge is kind of thick, but this whole point is thick, and it looks it looks like it's in a partially completed state. It needed to be refined and sharpened a little bit better. Some of these got real, real thin. I think that's why this one broke. But the edges are incredible. It took me a long time to become proficient enough to even get close to this type of edge. Okay, I'm going to show you some uh, modern points. These pieces here are modern. This is a real one. Now at first glance it's hard to tell the difference, but there are some characteristics that stand out. One is the mineral deposits. You can see and overall newness. This one looks much shinier than this, although they're both probably made of heat treated material. I mean this one is definitely heat treated. This one, the real one probably is also. But you can see the old one is dull. The new one is very very shiny. The, uh, the manufacturing scars on the new one look fresh and there's a lot of clear, very uh, translucent areas on the edges, whereas on the uh, artifact most of the uh, very sharp edges are, uh, are
are missing or gone. They're worn down due to age or tumbling in a river or, or wherever. Not very many hinges uh, that haven't been popped off by weather changes. A brand new point will show a lot of very sharp um, very sharp little pieces sticking out. The general feel of it is very um, I don't know it's it's got very sharp areas whereas the uh, artifact is always going to be smooth. All, every artifact that I've handled has always been smooth but not sanded smooth. There's still areas that are that you can feel that are raised but it just has a certain feel to it that it feels old whereas a new one doesn't. There's a lot of very sharp areas that can catch your skin. And this is the top piece to that. This one broke during manufacture and uh, there are some pieces of my collection that have similar types of breakage and that's how I believe that some of these were broken in manufacture. This is a good example. I've got some more but um, yeah, we're here. We've got some here. I think these were broken during manufacture and they're not completed. This is a modern point as well. And a couple of things that are unusual can kind of give you an idea that it's modern. First of all, the shape, the overall shape is kind of unusual. And uh, it looks kind of new. The edges are very, very sharp, very translucent. There's a little bitty um, sharp projections that are usually not found on artifacts from this time period. The newer ones, like the true arrow points, some of them still have a lot of their serrations intact, very sharp. But from this time period, these are quite old, the real ones. They won't have such sharp uh, serrations and whatnot. But just to give you an idea of what real artifacts look like, they aren't perfect. And they have certain characteristics that uh, set them apart from other artifacts. Uh, cultural differences, difference in technique and manufacturer, the, um, the material itself, and various other things that can tell you that's a real artifact. Certain things are very difficult to uh, reproduce or to fake. So I feel very confident about some of these, about most of these. I've, I feel very confident about that they are real. The, uh, there's some beveled sharpening going on with this point. It's very characteristic of some artifacts. It's nice and shiny, but what tells me it's an artifact is there are no real sharp edges on this although it has been reworked. If it was a modern reworking, you could see translucent areas, very sharp areas on the edges, but there aren't any on this. And they don't look like they've been sanded down either. Because you could easily sand down a bunch of those and try to imitate the look, but it does not appear to be sanded. There's no white powdery areas. There's a lot of mineral deposit inside these crevices. So, anyway, I just wanted to guys, I w just wanted to give you guys an idea of what artifacts look like. This one has a patina on this side, and not much on that side. And uh, what has inspired me to pursue certain um, characteristics in my flint napping, especially the edge work. The artifact, the edge work on artifacts, is quite different than most. Uh, modern pieces that I've seen and that has to do with the thinness and sharpness of the edge and lack of preparation as far as I can see. It looks like also a random style of uh, napping and these uh, these are not paleo points these are later on. Uh, I don't have any paleo points 
so I can't show you the uh, the other side of this where artifacts were created very carefully. These were manufactured, it looks to be, quickly and efficiently. I guess that's it.